For most people, holiday shopping really kicks into high gear a little more than a week from now. While some malls will fill with people, Southridge Mall will sit mostly empty. This week, we look at how all Des Moines area shopping malls are doing as many shopping centers across the country struggle to attract shoppers and hold on to retailers. Yeah, it's a tough environment. Only on KCCI, Andrew Mullenbeck shows us how a nearly empty Southridge Mall is still holding on. This is Southridge Mall today. It has gone through more changes than any other shopping center in the region. A lot of the mall's interior is now empty. But in its day, it was a go-to spot to shop, hang out, and eat. The mall opened in 1975, just two months after Valley West Mall. This is a very nice area. Cheryl Carpenter grew up on the south side and remembers the pride it brought to the area. It was exciting to see a mall within walking distance really from where we were and it had the major anchor stores. Yonkers was the first followed by Sears, Montgomery Ward and Richmond Gordman. You really never had to go anywhere across town. Those original anchor stores are all gone but the memories of the mall are still strong for many Southsiders including that of a short-lived water slide inside the mall. I was a lifeguard at a place called the hydro tube which was an indoor water slide. Matt Moline explains the attraction that thrilled kids and gave their parents a break, an attraction that lasted about half a year. It was a tube that started outside the building. So it was above Southridge. You can still see the notch above the Yonkers area where it came in to the building. And then it would, get, it would twist around and ended into a, a pool at the bottom. These days, the mall is remaking itself. Retail stores like Target and Ross are outward facing, as opposed to the traditional mall look, and there is a DMAC location bringing young people to the area. I spent a ton of time there growing up. Obviously, that was the place to go on the south side. Des Moines City Council member Joe Gatto has watched them all change out of necessity. We've kind of went through an evolution of, you know, really since Jordan Creek uh, came out, it, you know, it, it kind of it's kind of did the same thing to all the different malls where we've got to find a different use. Some of that has already happened, like putting a VA clinic in the former Toys R Us building. The former Yonkers building is now home to Native Bid, a furniture and home goods auction store that's planning to buy that building next year. We're looking at building another senior housing unit there. We've got uh, some other multifamily behind it that's created some rooftops. We're going to continue to, to kind of work with what we've got and get different owners in there and, and hopefully we just have the west side of the mall that's not currently being used right now. New uses for a new time, but certainly a different vibe from the early days. From record stores to, you know, athletic stores, all that stuff, Yonkers, everything was really kicking back then. The kicks will soon come in a different way when Genesis Health Clubs moves into the former Sears building. On Des Moines' south side, Andrew Mullenbach, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Andrew contacted the owner of Southridge Mall to see if they would like to talk about their plans for the area, but they declined. However, if you go to the shopping center's website, it describes Southridge as an open-air shopping center, making no mention of the interior of the mall.